an article here from VideoGamesChronicle.com. PS5 marks biggest ever month in Japan with sales up over 450%. It's the first time Sony's console has outsold Nintendo Switch in the region. Now, a lot of what this is, though, is just the uh, the supply is finally meeting the demand. That's why the, it's up 450% year on year. Is because, quite frankly, they just didn't have enough PS5s to sell. They, they would have sold a you know quite a bit. They would, you know, because I mean, they basically sell as many as they can make, essentially. I mean, but according to Famitsu data, PS5 was February's best-selling hardware in the country. I also have a uh, tweet up here from Genki, but, you know, talking about they were 457 percent year over year. The unit sold 65,000 in, in uh, February of last year, 366,000 in February of this year. It's first month since February 2018 that the switch was not number one. Which is a you know pretty damn long time, but here here's another interesting thing: the PS5 sold more units last month alone than the first four months of 2022 combined in Japan. It's a game that you know has at least somewhat. I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know exactly, but it at least has somewhat to do with the supply. <laughs> you know, the supply finally rising up. This is what they basically reference. They reference reference Genki's uh, Twitter. But they, they is enjoyed a PS5 has enjoyed a strong start in 2023, and some reasons likely due to the much increased availability of the console. Like I said, following years of stock shortages, Sony's console enjoyed a similarly successful February in the UK, which in February saw sales increase 316% over the same period in 2022. I, you know, I didn't want to do a separate video about that as well, but that you know that that's pretty you know that's pretty uh, impressive, I'll say. I mean, I'm not trying to start some console war stuff. I heard, I heard that Xbox was up as well, not like as much in terms of the numbers, like as, as high, I guess. I, I heard something about, like, you know, switches down a little bit. But, I mean, these things are going to wax and wane and stuff over time. Here's a, the best-selling games of the year so far in, in you know, Japan. Uh, obviously, Pokemon. I mean, it's unbelievable, you know, Scarlet and Violet, how, how well they those games continue to sell. Uh, Splatoon 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and then Mario Kart. Just continues to just sell. I don't I, that that game. It, it's almost becoming like, like it should be a meme, like Grand Theft Auto Five or something. Like how many units can this shit? Can, can these can this stuff sell? You know, uh, you, you do see a couple PS Five games out here, Hogwarts Legacy, and then uh, Grand Turismo Seven. I mean, you know, they're pretty pretty damn good numbers for considering that. Like you know, with Hogwarts, hundred twenty six thousand. I, I mean, you know, I, I think that's pretty good. I mean, it's obviously it's not it's not as great as some of these other titles, but I mean, shit, you know, what do you, I mean, what do you want? I guess maybe shoot, what I should say, maybe. But anyway, I'll, I'll link these in the description box if you want to read them for yourself. But uh, and I talk about, you know, the, the Switch software still dominated Japan's software charts with Kirby's blah, 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 talking about that. Due to the significant lack of market penetration of Xbox in Japan, it's like that most of these sales are on PS5, blah, blah, blah. Hogwarts Legacy is now the seventh best-selling game of the year at retail in Japan, like, like it shows right there. It's pretty damn impressive. You know, at least, I mean, at least in my eyes, because, like I said, PS5 doesn't have the install base that the Switch does. The Switch has this, this monster install base, as you can tell from these, from this number here. I mean, Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet, 544,000 units, you know, in 2023. I mean, holy crap. But anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Like I said, I'll link these in the description box if you want to read them for yourself. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.